the Nevis Island Administration, NIA, has officially commissioned its CCTV command center, signaling the rollout of an island-wide security surveillance program. The ceremony was held Tuesday, September 7th, on the outside of the facility located in Charlestown. Premier Mac Brantley, who is also the minister responsible for security in the NIA, said having a first-class CCTV camera program on the island is a major step towards ensuring the safety and security of the people of Nevis. The Nevis Island Administration, that I'm privileged to lead at this point in our history, would have funded the construction of the building. But of course, the building is only a building. It is the technology that has gone into the building that really is going to give us a command center that, as I say, is world class. And so we constructed the building, and through the collaboration with the government and people of the Republic of China on Taiwan and the federal government, we now have the equipment that we can deploy to make this building a first-class facility for crime detection and crime prevention. And so this is, in every sense, a collaboration. His Excellency Mikhail Lin, Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to St. Kitts and Nevis, registers satisfaction that his government was able to assist the NIA in providing the latest achievement in enhancing security on the island. We are pleased that Taiwan has played a part in the rollout of CCTV network in St. Kitts and Nevis. Many key equipments in this system, such as cameras, video servers, and network video recorders, etc. are supplied by the Taiwanese company VivoTech, a leading provider of network surveillance solutions in Taiwan. Apart from the support in material and funding, technical assistance was also provided by experts from Taiwan. Our embassy has been working hard to assist in the nationwide CCTV project for years, and it is such a delight to witness today this important phase realized in Nevis. I would like to con congratulate the leaders of the federal government and the Nevis Island Administration for delivering this crucial infrastructure to the people of Nevis and further reinforcing the national security of St. Kitts and Nevis. Commissioner of Police Mr. Hilroy Brandy informed that a CCTV camera program was first rolled out in Nevis several years prior with just a few cameras. He said, under the previous system, which lacked real-time monitoring, over 30 police cases were solved. The commissioner said that this expanded and more up-to-date system will be an even greater asset to the police with regard to their crime-fighting and prevention efforts. I want to encourage those persons who will be employed at the CTTV program that they must take the rest and they must be punctual and they must be at all times viewing the board to make sure that when something is about to happen or when they see anything suspicious, they're able to call the patrol so an officer can dispatch and investigate before things get out of hand. And that's what we consider as preventative policing. So far, in terms of um, the previous CDTV program that we had, I could say well over 30 cases were assisted by the CDTV. With this new modern technology, I'm looking forward for even more. The two-story building encompasses 3,100 square feet and contains public restrooms, two special victims' rooms, conference rooms, server room, forensic lab, kitchen and reception area, monitor room, tech room and evidence room. The cameras will be installed along the island main road in certain hotspots around the island as well as at the port. The CCTV camera system operates with fiber optic cables and the monitoring station at the command center will be manned around the clock. I am Justin Theatishiro for SKN Newsline.